frugal friends welcome back my name is julie and the clean out continues now instead of the december declutter it is the bear with me january junkathon this is a really good idea I needed it to be an alliteration. So with January, what was I gonna put? Anyway, so we are going through CDs. I used to be a member of like BMG, I think it was called, but they were uh, these CD clubs that you'd be a part of. And so you'd pay full price for like one or two and then be able to pick like five or ten something like that for like a penny each plus shipping anyway i was very much into that i have all these C Ugh, cds some have been broken those i think we got rid of all the broken ones they were not very well taken care of especially after the cd player stopped working in the van Yes, the goal this year at some point is to get a new car, but it is not <laughs> a priority at this moment. Anyway, I actually would like to get one that has a CD player in it. I don't know if they even make them anymore, cars with CD players, because everybody does digital and whatever, but not me. So we're going to go through these CDs. Olivia, my oldest daughter, already went through and she borrowed several CDs that uh, she is excited about and has been having fun with. Her grandma very generously gave her an old CD player like boombox thing. She's been having a lot of fun with those. I'm going to probably commandeer that boombox so that I can enjoy some of these CDs. I'm also going to attempt to burn all of them. I don't know if that's even a thing you can do anymore, but to burn all of them into digital files so that, anyway, so that I don't have to keep all of this. Although there's some that I wanna keep anyway. Let's jump in and let's make some choices. So let's start with something funny. This is <laughs> Julie's crying music. Come on, I was like 19, 20, 1920, God. I was like 20, 22, I don't know. Anyway, relationships, stuff like that. says some happy, some sad, because sometimes you cry because you're sad and sometimes you cry because you're happy. Oh, P.S. I am wearing jewelry again. I've been wearing the same jewelry for like three days and I'm thinking I'm going to keep these, all of them. Yep, I think so. But I actually start like, you know, using them regu regularly. We have Our Lady Peace, good stuff. We have Bush, 16 Stone. We have Garth Brooks in pieces. I have a wildly varied taste in music. The Calling, I think Olivia already grabbed all of my Weezer stuff. Yeah. And Nirvana as well, I think she took the Nirvana, didn't you? Yeah, I took it all. Yeah, she took a lot of my goodies. Uh, we've got Counting Crows, Blues Traveler. Oh, I'm getting excited just going through these. Yeah, great, Mom, we're more like a couple of teenagers, you know? <laughs> There's Michael Buble, Elvis, this one was a Christmas one, If Every Day Was Like Christmas. Gorgeous album, highly recommend it. Another Elvis, this is the second to none. I ha yeah, I have some of the booklets, I don't have all of them. Then I've got A Newfound Glory that someone burned for me. Uh, Mulberry Lane, they had like one good song that I really liked. Oh, they must have had at least two because I have two Mulberry Lane. <laughs> CDs. We've got The Monkees, Mandy Moore, Morrissey. Oh my God, the more you ignore me, the closer I get. You're wasting your time. Oh my God, that song is amazing. Uh, Lori Morgan does not ring a bell. I'm going to have to listen to it to see why did I like it. And that's kind of the plan is there's some that right away I know I'm keeping that, I'm keeping that, I'm keeping that, I'm keeping that. Then there's others where I'm like, why did I buy this? Who, who, who are you? What was the situation? Did I like it? What was the song? Will I still like it? We're gonna go through, we're gonna find out. So yeah, some of these are super easy. 
others not so much so what I want to do is make a very careful pile and those that we're gonna keep we're probably gonna get a new thing to put them in this used to be a really nice binder and it was you know in car after car after car and uh, things things happened also I'm almost certain that my former husband took some of my CDs you should bust it let's see so Garth Brooks I mean this one it's got some good stuff on it we'll probably keep that uh, the the crying one <laughs> I'm going to have to listen to it and, and see what I think. So we'll have a pile for we're keeping and a pile for do I even still like it? Bush, obviously keeping. Oh, this is interesting. I have two of them. You did a lot of that type of stuff and you Two hit, 16 stone. You hit, there were others like that? Yeah, you hit a lot of CDs behind other CDs. Well, it's because I had run out of room because I had so many. The calling I'm going to have to listen to and see what we think. Chicago hits, but no CD. Counting Crows, come on, come on. Um, with the Bush 16 Stone, I'm gonna have to see which one plays better. Blues Traveler, come on, come on, good stuff. Mulberry Lane, gonna have to listen to them again because I don't know. And I'm being very careful, trying not to scratch any of them while I'm stacking them. Newfound Glory, I don't even remember what their stuff is, so I'll have to listen to it. The Monkees, come on, come on. Lori Morgan, we'll find out. Morrissey, <laughs> Ooh, Morrissey. Uh, Mandy Moore, mm, I'll listen to it and see if I still connect with it at all. I don't know. Then we have Melissa Etheridge breakdown. Oh my God. I used to listen to this and listen to this. I, it's amazing. It's still good. I, I played that one on repeat back in the day. This is, well, here's, I don't know what this is. Oh, it's Eric Clapton. Um, I'll listen. Look how, look how ravaged that is. I'll listen to it. Um, like, I like the song Layla. That one's pretty cool. The main song that I like is Tears in Heaven from Eric Clapton, but that's not one that I want to listen to. You know what I mean? Like, it's um, very sad. It was about his own son who passed away, and very dramatically and tragically. Yeah, I don't know. I think I'm going to, I'm just going to say, nope, I don't want that one. Ooh, I put Our Lady Peace over here. We got to keep that. I'm also going to test all of them, all of them, to see if they still play, how well they play, if they're all skippy. This, oh, there's a couple of them. Van Halen, <laughs> this is the Balance album. And then I am pretty sure this one is Bare Naked Ladies, but I'm not certain. So we will have to play it and find out. Then, what do we have? I don't know. It should be pretty obvious. 1994, good Lord. Um, oh, I swear, boys, boys to men. That's, come on, come on. Good stuff. Then we've got Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band. That's the Beatles. We have the Beastie Boys. Oh my God. Ah. When you're, especially when you're like angry and doing chores or frustrated and doing chores, because I do tend to, or projects or whatever, that's kind of what I do when I'm like, mm. <laughs> you turn this on. Oh, it's so much fun, which I haven't done in forever because I didn't have a CD player. So these have just sat where in the attic or first they were in the car for a long time. Then they were in the attic. Then they were in the office. Then we have um, Beastie Boys License to Ill. That one's got Fight for Your Right, Two Party. Another Our Lady Peace. Let's see here. We've got um, Los Lonely Boys. Oh my God, this is so good. We're listening to this very soon, but it looks a little dirty. I'll clean them. Um, I'll like Google how to clean them properly and then test them. Then this, I don't know. 
who that is. It says like, I think that might be a J possibly and that's a K. We'll have to try it and find out. Oh my God, this is big and rich. I don't like a lot of country music. There's just a little here and there that I enjoy. And big and rich, I don't care for any other songs except Holy Water. Oh my goodness sake, Holy Water. Aww. Mm, mm. This is Burl Ives, Holly Jolly Christmas. I would like to get it in vinyl. That would be cool. 70 years young. Oh, I'm just like 60 I mean, years, 50, 50 oh, no. years young. Lone Star Lonely Grill. Mm, I don't know. I'll have to listen to it. Ooh, live. Oh my God, so good. So good. Um, okay, this is problematic. It's R. Kelly. Oh boy. Who we all now know is like totally a nasty guy and I'm pretty sure he's in prison, but I really like some of his songs. <sighs> and they were really helpful or meaningful to me at different points in my life. I'll listen to it again and see what I think. We've got Celine Dion, All the Way a Decade of Song. Keep that. We've got Frankie J. I'll have to listen to it. I don't, I don't remember. Casey and Jojo. I'm pretty sure there was one song that I really, really loved. Does it tell me it's real? Yes! I don't know. We'll have to listen to that one. Then, oh, there's um, Elvis Presley, If Every Day Was Like Christmas. Okay, then, oh, there's Journey. Oh, no, I was looking for Chicago. This is Greatest Hits, Don't Stop Believing, Will in the Sky, Faithfully. Okay, Faithfully was played at every high school dance. Every one of them. Every one. It didn't matter what it was, Sadie Hawkins, prom, it didn't matter. Always, they played faithfully. Oh. Okay, then, this is Il Devo. I don't know what I liked from them, so I'll have to listen to it. This is Pearl Jam, Lost Dogs. A friend of mine burned that for me years ago. It has Yellow Lead Better on it, which is one of my all-time most very favorite songs ever, ever, ever. This is Whitney, so Whitney Houston. It's got I Want to Dance with Somebody. Um, didn't we almost have it all? Oh my god. Let's see. Uh, the others I don't like, don't seem too familiar, but um, Indigo Girls. What did I like from this? I don't know. I'll have to listen to it and see what I think. That's another live. Look how pretty that is. Isn't that pretty? That's a keeper. Oh, fun! The best of the drifters. Like I said, my musical taste is just, there's this spectrum. This is the very best of the drifters. Yes, the drifters. There goes my baby. This magic moment. Oh my God. Save the last dance. Oh, so many goodies. And then Dixie Chicks. They've changed their name now. Uh, but anyway, Dixie Chicks. There's like one song on here that I absolutely adore. Um, for mine, I think is the one. Wide Open Spaces. That's a really good one. I'm going to listen to it and see if I still love it. We've got Erasure. Duh. Keeper. Then we've got... Oh, look at... This is terrible. Oh, I hope it'll be salvageable. Ugh. Oh, man. This is... Oh, I hope... It, I'm just... I'm going to have to clean them. But it's Gavin DeGraw. Uh, Chariot. I loved him before he was popular. Just going to throw that out there. No one even knew who Gavin DeGraw was, and I got his CD from, like, BMG or whatever. I This CD, I must have replayed it, God, I don't know, millions of times. I'm going to have to clean that. Oh, there's the booklet for the Celine Dion, and then here's another of hers, and this is the Let's Talk About Love. It's got some really good stuff on it. Counting Crows, oh. Then... We have 
who is this? Uh, the Nana song? Who are you people? I don't, oh, Sheryl Crow, God. Okay, um, Harry Connick Jr., When My Heart Finds Christmas. Oh, man. So good. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Say what you will. I really liked some of their stuff. Creed. It was that song about, um, was that, what, Arms Wide Open or something like that? Yeah, with Arms Wide Open. So good. The other one, though, I will have to listen to and see if there's anything on it that I like. Oh, come on now. Come on. Experience the divine. And this is for real. Bette Midler. Mm. Mm. Oh, and there is the booklet for Harry Connick Jr. Then we have Mariah Carey. Always Be My Baby. That one is so good. God, that's so good. Then... Oh, there's Bare Naked Ladies. I'm pretty sure I have all of their stuff. This is probably Brian Adams. Yeah. And then the Ataris. Oh, so long, Astoria. Oh. I used to have all of their CDs, but I know some of them got lost or disappeared. Another Brian Adams. Well, do I want this one? Yeah, it has, like, do I have to say the words and other good stuff like that. Oh, there, see, this one, this one, I still have the booklet, but I don't have the CD. So frustrating. Blue Skies, Broken Hearts, Next 12 Exits. I love this one. Oh, my God, I loved it. But I guess now I could just, like, buy it on iTunes. This is the soundtrack to Romeo and Juliet with, like, Leonardo DiCaprio and whatever her name was then this one is American Hi-Fi I'm gonna have to listen to it I don't remember Christina Aguilera um genie in a bottle what a girl wants I mean it was fun but I don't want it anymore I'm getting too old for this sort of thing Let's see, then we've got the booklet for Bette Midler. We've got Modest Mouse. I actually just saw on like Facebook or something that the drummer just died. He was only 45, which, oh my God, four years older than me. Um, Modest Mouse, so good, so good. So rest in peace, drummer. I, I don't know what his name was, unfortunately. What if Mozart wrote Roll Over Beethoven? That is so good. You still listen to that one all the time. Edwin McCain. I'll, I'll have to, because I don't remember. Let's see. Matchbox 20. Oh, yeah, these are so dirty. Oh, I hope, I hope, I hope I can save them. The booklet for Los Lonely Boys. Matchbox 20. Okay, I must have liked Ed, Edwin McCain because I have another of his albums. Uh, I don't know. I'll have to listen to it. Yeah, you're right, Lulu. Something has to have spilled. It was messy. Really messy. Um, uh, let's see. Is this Green Day? Yeah, I think this is Green Day. Nimrod, isn't that Green Day? Let's see. Good riddance, time of your life. Yeah, that's Green Day. Oh, Olivia's over here. Give it to me. Give it to me. We'll see. <laughs> Sophie B. Hawkins. I know she had one. Oh, As I Lay Me Down. Oh, yeah, that one's beautiful. That's another one that was at, like at all of the school dances. Beth Hart. Screaming for my supper. I'll have to, I don't know. Train. Drops of Jupiter. Hello. I saw them in concert back in the day. Who is this? Oh, Guns N' Roses Greatest Hits. Ah! There's another Guns N' Roses. Yeah, she nabbed a bunch of stuff for me. My other Guns N' Roses. I'll trade you the Guns N' Roses for Green Day. Hmm, we'll see. Okay, and then here's the book for So Long Astoria from the Ataris. Then there is the other R. Kelly. <sighs> like I was saying, super problematic. I'm going to have to think about it. The Bangles. Ah! Okay, 
Then another Bare Naked Ladies. I have all of their stuff. Ally McBeal. Oh my God, that one is so good. Ace of Base, Lucky Love. <laughs> but I want to be like Sir Rod Stewart once said, forever, forever young. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, Lulu is trading me my, trading me with my CDs. So she's, she's trading like, me. Taking somebody's house and selling it to them. Yeah, trading me my Guns and Roses Use Your Illusion. She's trading me that for Green Day. Somehow this feels wrong. Somehow. <laughs> but sh I know that she will listen to them and enjoy them and, I'm you know. I'm in my room listening to all the CDs. She's a teenager, you know, you're hanging out, you're listening to music, whatever. So that's fine. It's, it's better than them just sitting. So anyway, Ace of Base, Lucky Love. Oh no, good stuff. Then this is the thing for the Maroon 5, or not Maroon 5, Bare Naked Ladies Maroon. Then we have Mana. Oh, oh my goodness. Mm. So good. Have, yeah, have to be in the right mood. Um, because, like, my favorite song on there is actually pretty dang sad. Um, Ryan Shoop and the Rubber Band. I actually think I found that one dumpster diving. Not sure, but anyway, here's... Oh, oh, it's broken! No, 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 no! He's dead, Jim. Oh, no, no. This is what happens when you don't take care of your stuff, or you have too much stuff, and so thus you don't take care of it. I love this album. Oh my God, All That You Can't Leave Behind. You too. Jeez, that sucks. <sighs> that sucks. I'm pretty sure this is REM. Yeah, REM. Super good stuff. Then Cindy Thompson. I'll have to listen to it. I have no idea who that is. George Strait, Carrying Your Love With Me. Oh, that's such a good song. I'll think about, I'll think about if I want to keep it. Then, uh, where's my think about pile? So that's a get rid of, that's a get rid of, that's a think about. Blue October. Oh, foiled. Super good. Sting and the police. Let's see, who do we have here? TLC fan mail. <laughs> oh no, no scrubs. Jesus. Um, let's see. Um, is Waterfalls on this? <sighs> Fan mail, silly is uh, pretty. Come on down. I'm going to let this one go because it doesn't have Waterfall on it. And that's like, what artist is it? Um, it's um, TLC. It's a, a band of girls. <sighs> Shania Twain, you're still the one. Oh, good stuff. Then Train, and this is the My Private Nation album and then UB40 oh okay guys this was my very first ever CD promises and lies my mom bought this for me I was maybe 13 or 14 my very first CD I wish with this one with the rest I don't care but I wish with this one I would have saved the case and all of that because I mean, my very first CD. And it's got like one big scratch right there. I'll have to see if I can buff it or whatever, but I'm keeping that one. That's my very first CD. It's like Scrooge and his lucky dime. Yeah, anyway, the Verve Pipe. Oh, I'm in high school again. Ooh, uh, okay, what? Vertical Horizon, that sounds really familiar. Let's see. When you cry forever, I'm still here. Sunshine, goodbye again. Echo, it's over. One of you won't go away inside underwater. I'm going to have to listen to it because I don't know if I like that or not anymore. Uh, these are the ones that I decided. Oh. oh, you don't want these? They only have a couple songs on them. Okay, these are some that Olivia had borrowed from me, but she's decided she doesn't want. Michael Jackson, bad. Queen Greatest Hits? What's wrong? 
Are you serious? I'll talk to you about that later. Oh, okay. She'll talk to me about that later. But, oh my God, somebody to love. <gasps> And then there's the obvious, you know, we will rock you, we are the champions, but, but for me, it's, um, it's somebody to love and can't stop me now. Well, the main thing with oh. Queen is well, that... Can you take that off? When the John Lennon collection? Come on. The Beatles White Album? That I understand, because it doesn't have very many that I'm in love with. Uh, then we have um, this one, the Beatles. I don't remember what this was actually called, but it's the one that has real love on it. it was like their kind of remix thing that they did and then there's the rest of the white album anyway with queen it's just that i've listened it to listen to it so much that it's just kind of oh different. so olivia still loves queen it's just that she had played it way too much it's one of those bands that um, I to listen to. the best of utah valley i think we can let that one go i was allowed to listen to that so i overplayed it a lot yeah okay this is Violent Femmes. Come on. Come on. Whisper in the Sun. Is that what it is? <gasps> Judy at Carnegie Hall. I mean, the mug I drank my coffee out of this morning was my Over the Rainbow mug. So, um, we'll keep that. Big Band Love Songs. I think this had some really good stuff. I really love brass bands, swing music. Oh my goodness. I just need to start listening to it again. Oh no, the soundtrack to Mona Lisa Smile. Oh, oh boy. It has the song Smile, you know, that Charlie Chaplin wrote. Or did you know that Charlie Chaplin wrote that? Smile though your heart is breaking. Yeah. You'll find that life is still worthwhile if you just smile. Oh God, anyway, beautiful. Ah. Then, this one, this is weird. Oh, that's Pinkerton. You took that one from me, huh? So, uh, Olivia's got most of my Weezer stuff. This is a burned one, Make Believe. I think it has Beverly Hills on it, and I think my sister-in-law burned that for me. Leanne Womack. I haven't even thought of her in forever. She does that song, I Hope You Dance. It's really pretty. I'm not in love with it anymore. Oh, no. Where the heart is. Natalie Portman. Oh, my God. Oh, where the heart is. Mm. But it's cracked. No, 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 no. It's cracked right on the white thing. I wonder if it'll still play. We're going to try it. We're, we're going to try it. two songs might not play. I noticed that with the green Oh, really? Okay. Then, <sighs> Lifetime of Romance. Unforgettable. Chances are Moon River. Oh, Moon River. Sorry, I forgot I have a microphone and I keep hitting it. Sorry, guys. That's Amore, When I Fall in Love, and Over the Rainbow. Okay, okay. Then we've got Poison. Yes. Then we've got River Dance. Do you guys remember when River Dance was so huge? And then in uh, Emperor's New Groove, they did that really funny play on it, you know, where Kuzco is like dancing and all the soldiers are dancing and they're doing a river dance. I'm going to have to listen to it. I recall that I loved it, but it has been so long, I don't remember. This, I'm going to cover part of it because they're flipping us off. Actually, I'm fl kind of upside down flipping you off. Sorry, guys. Um, I think this is Kid Rock. I'm almost certain. And he is a total ding dong, but he had one song that I really love. So, Hollywood soundtracks. Oh my God. I've had this one since I was like 14 or 15. It has Run To You, Whitney Houston, but that wasn't the song that I wanted it for. My Well, I liked um, I'm Gonna Be, the 500 Miles song by The Proclaimers, but my main ones were The Crying Game, which was Boy George, and then A Love So Beautiful, which is Roy Orbison. Oh my goodness. Ah, so good. This is, you never know how I'm going to name stuff when I'm done, sweetheart. Thank you. Jumpy, number two. This was like workout, happy music or whatever. I'll have to listen to it, see if there's anything. That I am definitely getting rid of. Not even going to show you guys because it's, I'm just not. Oh God. You never know what's going to hit you, do you? So, most likely, I mean, my, my general audience 
you're all folks that'll understand this right away. But just in case there's somebody else, when we were younger, you would burn like a cassette tape or a CD with all these songs for your friends, your girlfriends, your boyfriends, whatever, or for yourself. This one was one that my first husband burned for me. I'm going to let that one go. But it does have a lot of really good, really good songs on it. Anyway, we'll let that one go. Throw that shit away. I don't know what this is, so I'm going to have to listen to it. It's another like burned thing. Top Gun. Awesome. Wedding Mix. That would have also been from my first husband. He was really into burning CDs. Yeah. Oh, this sucks. This one, mm. There was this song, you guys know I don't do religion or any of that anymore, but there was this song from this Especially For Youth album. It's a Mormon LDS thing. Anyway, and there's a song on there, Like A Lighthouse. Oh, it's so beautiful. I'm gonna listen to it again and see how I feel about it. Okay, this is has my brother's name on it, so I'll see what that is. I think it might be from a play that he did, actually. Then we have Shakira. Hello, of course we're keeping that. This, I don't know what it is, so we'll have to find out. This, all mixed up. So these are just more of my burned ones. I'll listen to them. I'll see if they still hit the right spots. This says movie classics, music from famous films. We'll have to see what's on it. It doesn't show. Josh Groban, that's a burned one. That's um, another one from the uh, other guy. So is that, so we'll get rid of that. Then I don't know what's on this, so we'll find out. Now we're cruising. We are cruising. If you happen to still be watching this by some crazy miracle, um, oh, put, what should we put in the comments? A smiley. Turn back time, because that's what we're doing. Turn back time. Arts and culture. <laughs> Squishy mix. La la, la 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 la. Oh, there's the, um, thing for Mana. Then we've got jars of clay. Oh no. Oh wow. I have this feeling though that it wasn't the one I wanted. I'm almost certain that I wanted a different, this is a memory is coming to me, that I wanted a different jars of clay album and it, that this was the wrong one. So I'll have to listen to it and see. Led Zeppelin. Come on. Come on. Dire Maker. Oh no. Dire Maker, Led Zeppelin. Guys. Okay, now my tower is starting to crumble. Ah. This is Oldies But Goodies, The Way You Look Tonight, Sleepwalk by Santo and Johnny. Oh, that's also on the La Bamba soundtrack. Oh, that song. Oh no. <sighs> then. Oh, okay, there's the booklet for Big and Rich, and behind it is Big Ones. That's got to be Aerosmith. Let's see, Belinda Carlisle. Heaven is a place on earth. I get weak. Oh, circle in the sand. Come on. Then there's the booklet for 12 Disney fav favorites, Dog on Fun, but there's no CD. Did you take it? Jumpy. I was like six or something. <laughs> uh, I'll have to, yeah. And then this one is another one that he burned for me. That will go. Let's see. Nazareth. Love hurts. Come on. <sighs> All right. You two, the Joshua tree. At least that one didn't get broken. Good, good. Then. Oh, another one. But he, he burned a lot of CDs. That was really a thing. Oingo Boingo. Heck yeah. Love me some Oingo Boingo. Besame. Oh. That's good stuff. It's actually a YouTuber. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Cool. I don't know. Oh, Incubus. 
I don't think I like Incubus anymore. I don't know if I ever did. Let's see. Beastie Boys, Grand Royale. <laughs> I'm going to go through all of those, actually, and see if I still like them as much as I did. Sean Puffy Combs. Are you serious? Oh, oh, because it's the tribute to the Notorious B.I.G. What was that song called that we all loved? What was that song called? That's going to bug me. Oh, here we go. I'll be missing you. Jeez. That played at all the dances, too. That one. I'll let that go. Okay. Oh, we're getting there. We are getting there. Billy Joel, Greatest Hits, Volume 3. I'm actually going to listen to it because, again, I have this thought in my head that it was the wrong one. That happened to me so many times when I was ordering from these clubs where you get you know your cds and stuff where i ended up ordering the wrong one so frustrating it was my own fault for not paying better attention then we have another live super good stuff this uh it'll come to me oh it's like on the tip of my brain they sing santeria anyway It'll come to me. I'll think of it. Oh, there's the Chicago. Chicago. This has, what does it have? Hard to say I'm sorry. Will you still love me tomorrow? Hard habit to break. Eh, I'll let that go. Then, okay, booklet for Our Lady Peace. And I don't know about you, but I'm having fun. This is like memory lane. This is Sarah McLaughlin Mirror Ball. I think that ha has some really good stuff. I'm not sure though. Do, let's see. Building a Mystery, that's a good one. Hold on, good enough. I will remember you. Okay, that's all I needed to know was seeing that. Yep, that's a keeper. Ha 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 ha. Then we have Ozzy Osbourne, Blizzard of Oz. Super good. Oh! Bon Jovi, Crush, love Bon Jovi, Paint Your Wagon, oh, oh Mimi, this has your song, oh, did you, you already showed her, yeah, they call the wind Mariah, I grew up with this movie, so, yeah, she's named Mariah, The Cure, this one is Staring at the Sea, Boys Don't Cry, oh, <laughs> let's see, Close to me, oh. Love cats, oh, that's good stuff. Oh, I already put it over here, honey, hold on. Boingo, boingo, boingo alive, super good stuff. No, 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 just wait, please. Um, Pearl Jam, what is this one called? It's just orange, but what is the name of this album? Bugs me when they don't say it on them, but oh well. Elvis Presley, Christmas time, Elvis Presley, Elvis is back, and Elvis second to none. <laughs> I also grew up with a lot of Elvis. Okay, oh, that's all of them. <gasps> that's all of them, not including the ones that Olivia already took, which were... Can we just do a video? Green Day of what? Can we do a video of which ones I took? Yeah, bring them to me and I'll show them. She's going to go grab those... Oh, they're right here. Oh, even better. Olivia has them right here. They're even in a nice little book being kept safe. I'm going to let her tell you what ones she nabbed from mine and has been enjoying. And I'm honestly going to just let her hold on to them as long as she takes good care of them. Anyway, let me let me turn it over to Olivia. Hello. All right, Lulu. <laughs> tell us what you got. Don't mind me. Just opening some spray. <laughs> so first I have like, so I've organized them all. Um, this is my dad's old CD player, so it had some. It had a Jay Z Lincoln Park DVD, which I have watched. It's kind of boring, though. <laughs> it has good music, but it's kind of boring. Um, that's my baby film, and that's another CD that I'm just gonna give back to mom because I didn't know that was in there. It's Disney hero songs. Yeah, it has like Hercules songs and stuff. And I have like, I kept all the booklets, like any booklets I could find, so that I know what's gonna be in there. Ah, keep bumping this, sorry. So I have like my Weezer, 
in here. Like I have the blue and green albums. I have Pinkerton. I'll just put these back in later. Anyway, um, I have a lot of U2. Well, three CDs. Just different U2 discs. And then have three doors down. Got two of those. And Smash Mouth. And then this one has the Spider-Man 2 soundtrack. Some of, like, my favorite songs on there that are, like, the actual soundtrack, not just songs that were made for it. Like, well, songs that were from other artists. Those ones are the most scratched up. So it's kind of sad, because <laughs> those are my favorite ones. And we actually have um, DVD 1 and 2. This is the Tobey Maguire ones, which are my favorite ones. Especially the third one, you know, with Emo Spidey. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's the second and then this is actually a 21 pilots cd because me and my friend went to their concert and it was amazing 10 out of 10 <laughs> also my first concert so so that's not one you got from me no but it's fun to share <laughs> then i have some oasis that was mine and i love it yeah but i stole it <laughs> yeah and then abba that was mine too Probably most of these are from me, huh? All of them are. Except for the 21 Pilots. Except for 21 Pilots. And surprisingly, the Spider-Man was in your thing. Yeah, Jose bought that for me. Oh. My brother bought it for me. Yeah, I take a lot of my music interests from my parents. Weird. <laughs> Which is why I have a such big variety where I'm always constantly looking up more music and stuff. And then, so, one of my favorite albums by... Green Day is American Idiot, but the one that I found, it was actually cracked. But I'm using it so that I know that this page is Green Day. And Nirvana. Two Nirvanas. One of them is a live event one, so you can hear a lot live of cheering. The banks of the Money Wish Con. Yeah. Yeah. And then there's Green Day. <laughs> then a lot of my own burned CDs, mainly just like anime music and stuff. Then the Cranberries, which I'm going to listen to with Mariah because she wants to hear more of the Cranberries because she likes a couple of their songs. And then I have like Radiohead and Simple Plan, which I love Radiohead <laughs> very much. Maybe I'll make a playlist and like share it with the viewers. Well, we can't play the music. No, 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 no. Like, Just tell them I'll, what it is. Or like I'll make a Spotify playlist that like doesn't say my name or anything but then they can listen to my music yeah that'd be cool like my different playlists then rem rem better take really good care of that one and that's all of them fantastic which i plan on growing it but <laughs> thank you olivia and yeah. thank you for taking such good care of them and enjoying them well yeah well yeah i love music <laughs> All right, Frugal Friends, that's what we have for today. Thank you so much for coming along. I hope you enjoyed going on this kind of getting to know me through music of my past adventure that we were on today. And we get to throw some stuff out. We get to tidy this up. I'm, like I said, going to order a new binder to put these in to have them be safe. Ah, it feels so good having gone through them, made some difficult choices, some really easy choices. We'll move a bunch of this on. We'll go on to test a bunch of them. I'm just gonna do that kind of as I can get to it while also doing a hundred other things. But at least we went through them and that feels really, really good. Do you have something similar to this laying around somewhere in your house? What are you gonna do about it? You gonna take care of it? I sure hope you will. Thank you so much for sharing your projects, what things you've gotten done, what you're working on in the comments. I love seeing that. It's like, I don't know, just a really good way to support each other in our own efforts and inspire and motivate each other to just keep on keeping on and getting it done, making those tough choices that will then make our lives and our homes better. Especially in crazy times when things are out of your control. It feels really good to declutter. Anyway, 
I will see you all very soon in the next episode of the January Junkathon. Coming soon. Don't want to sleep in, cause I got something to prove. I gotta take what I hate and finally make a move. I think of you and all the shit you don't do. Well, I'ma make hella shit that I don't become you. I have no regrets, yeah, I'll tied up my chest. I'll never forget what it's like to be in debt. Been stabbed in the back, bed. I'll show you what happens. Pass me the mic and I'll show you with action. I feel this pain, you already know. Turn that to games, let my money show I've got these things that I can't let go Watch me turn this life into something that you can never own I feel this pain, you already know Turn that to games, let my money show I've got these things that I can't let go Watch me turn this life into something that you can never own So fight and fight and die For the things you know you Never run. I feel this pain, you already know. Turn that.